Hi folks, this is the third of the three video segments that I've made on the sketcher and related items. Uh, I, the first one dealt with the sliding sketch, the second one was a position sketch, and this third one deals with something called uh, isolated or, or sketch isolated uh, option. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, make a, some, some simple uh, geometry there, basically it's just a the rectangle this is my sketch and let me also put some dimensions between this edge and notice that I'm I'm selecting this uh, yellow the yellow vertical line so this is going to be another one uh, is going to be between this edge and uh, this uh, oops sorry uh, it's going to be between uh, this edge and the horizontal one and uh, I'm going to make these numbers uh, this 1.5, although numbers don't matter here, but I want to have some uh, round numbers there. Okay, good. So, uh, I want to remind you that this point, this point right there, in 3D space, uh, is the projection of the global origin. Right now, of course, it just happens to be also the global origin. However, this sketch does not know that, okay? Uh, all right, let's exit this. Now, of course, I can pad it, but the padding does not really uh, add any uh, additional information here. Here's my sketch, I could have padded, I can pad it, but I'll leave it like this. Incidentally, uh, Right, so let's look at this. Uh, th this was, remember, this was drawn on the YZ plane. So if I, uh, if I uh, expand the tree here and uh, right click, right click, and uh, say uh, change sketch, see that? Change sketch, you click on it, and it's expecting you to select the, or this thing opens up, okay? And uh, it's expecting you right right now. It was a sliding sliding one that I created, so I can change that to uh, uh, the, the support of that instead of the Y-Z plane to something else. For example, right there, they say the X-Z plane or the Y-Z plane. As a matter of fact, let me select the uh, okay the X-Z plane. So what it does, there is no issue. It turns this thing around. It puts it in the X-Z plane. And those dimensions, those dimensions that I put, 1 and 0.5, are still whole. So, no problem. In other words, we create a uh, sketch, and the sketch was positioned in the sketcher based on the dimensions that we created between the yellow axis and the uh, edges of the uh, edges of this uh, rectangle. So, in fact, let's go and check something else here. These are the two dimensions that I put in that, that chart. All right, good. Now, let me undo this thing, because I want to do something else. Undo, undo, and right there. So, we're back to where we started. These two dimensions were made between the edges of the, the sketch, this rectangle, and the yellow, which are the local, local in a sense that the, the sketch origin, which does not have to be the global origin. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna delete this, these two, these two sketch, these two uh, dimensions, or I can go and by the same token delete it from here, right there, this is deleted, and this is deleted. Okay, so notice that they disappear from the constraints. What I wanna do now is I wanna create dimensions between the edges that I took, in other words, the vertical edge and the bottom horizontal edge, not with these local yellow, uh, local in the sense that not with these coordinate system, with this coordinate system, which actually deals with the sketch. So for example, if I rotate this, if I rotate that, you see this? I want to create a, 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 a dimension between this edge and the vertical edge, a vertical plane, vertical uh, exact plane, instead of the vertical edge 
and this vertical axis. Now, to make sure I don't make a mistake, many many people, when you look at other video segments for other people, they they actually hide these things. These two, they actually hide it because, after all, if I if I don't want to use them to create my dimensions, why should I leave it on the screen? Uh, okay, so this one and control that, and I'm going to hide it. Okay. Good. So now there's going to be a dimension. I noticed that uh, what the dimension is right here. Dimension between this vertical edge and not that vertical yellow uh, yellow axis that I hit, but this plane, the exit plane. And of course it's going to be one because it was already positioned in that location as one unit away. Another dimension Another dimension is between this uh, horizontal edge and the XY plane. Let's try it again. Between the horizontal edge and the XY plane. And there is the point 0.1, point 0.5 that I created before. However, before, the 1 and point 0.5 were between these edges and the yellow axis that I hid, and there were no issues. Okay, so, but here, these dimensions are between these edges and the fixed uh, global x, y, x, z, and y, z plane, because that's what that's what you see here. These are the fixed, fixed x, y, x, z, and y, z plane. This is why some people hide these things and actually create an axis system right at the global origin so that these are not, you know, uh, bothering you too much, okay? He does the same thing. All right, now we exit. Okay, first of all, if I tried to move this thing, it won't work. In fact, there's something that I forgot to show you in the in the first uh, uh, first uh, few minutes was that I could have used the compass and there was no issue. I could have put the compass here on that uh, on that sketch and there was no issue moving it because the, the the restraints that I put there or the constraints that I put there as far as those uh, uh, dimensions but with the yellow uh, yellow axis those are those are in the sketch does not prevent you from it does not fix you in space but it fix you in the sketch plane but here if I try to do this if I if I try to put the uh, put the for example the compass here, and if I try to move, I get this message saying it's impossible to move because we are fixing it with respect to the global origin. So we say, all right, by the way, look at what it says. You can isolate them and replace them with the datum element. So what that means is that first of all, close this. Obviously, this is not going to work. So I'm going to put this thing back where it was. All right. Okay. Now, first, I'm going to take the suggestion as far as isolating it. In other words, uh, well, look, uh, if you put the cursor on the sketch, right click, there is this option of isolate. When you create this isolate, it basically removes those offsets. And if you, if you remove those offsets, there's nothing that fixes this, this thing in space. Let me actually do that. Okay, this is not the same thing as changing the the sketch option okay so i'm going to click on it notice that these two dimensions are gone and there is absolutely no problem i can take this thing and move it in the direction that i want right there and this is something that i could have done in the first uh, uh, thing that i showed you where the, the the dimensions were not with the planes but it was between those yellow axes let me undo this thing because i want to move on with this okay undo so that i get my these dimensions back okay all right <clears throat> now the the focus of this uh, this particular segment is to show you what happens if i say change the sketch support see that sketch support now, of course, I isolated. I showed you that there's, there's no constraints here. You can move it anywhere you want. But sketch support. It tells you the following thing. It tells you, look, there are some global constraints. That's what this thing means. Because effectively, when I selected the YZ plane, 
it took the projection of the yz plane or the xy plane and put a dimension between that projection and this uh, these edges okay uh, so it, it's telling you that, wait a minute, be careful here. So we say, okay, no problem. Now, I want to select, I want to select the reference, see that? I want to select the reference plane. Before, it was YZ. I drew this thing in YZ. Now, I want to use a different plane. For example, this vertical plane or that plane or any other plane that I may have created. Now, when I truly try to do that, this, this is going to complain. It's going to say, wait a minute. For example, if you select it, let's hypothetically say the XY plane. Well, you told me that the distance between the bottom edge of that uh, rectangle and the YZ plane is 0.5. Now you're trying to put me in that plane. Therefore, that dimension actually is meaningless. So Lonely did something. In fact, if we rotate this thing, we can see that it did bring it down. However, when I say OK, it says that, well, I can't do it. I can't do it. Now, what is, what is it saying? It says you, you, may, you, you need to edit the sketch to solve this problem. And it gives you an explanation, which is just what I said, although it's not written really uh, in, a, in, a, in a good way. So notice that the choices, there are several choices here. If you say deactivate, basically, we, we gave up. Okay, so uh, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me do deactivate and see what happens. Okay, see, gone. And in fact, the sketch is deactivated right up there. You can see that. So deactivate it. There's a side. Let's activate it back. Okay, so we got back there. All right. The other option is delete. Delete actually. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete it and then on. Well, let, let me do the delete at the very end. So isolate. Isolate means that look, I know that there are some inconsistencies, but what I want you is to remove some of those inconsistencies or those dimensions that I put in there in order to do what what I want. So you say isolate. And notice that, no problem, it did it for us. However, when you look at it, in the constraints, one of the dimensions was deleted, okay? So remember, there was a, a dimension between uh, an edge and vertical plane being one, the other one, uh, horizontal plane, and the uh, bottom edge being 0.5, but only one of them survived, and in fact, you, you can see what it is. This one survived, okay? The other one is gone. All right, let me undo these because I want to try that uh, delete for you. Okay, there we are. These are the original two constraints between the vertical planes and other were global constraints. So let's try to uh, let's try to change the sketch here. Change the sketch. You know that we selected the XY plane. When I when we did this, it said that wait a minute. Either deactivate it, isolate, delete it. We already pl played with deactivate and isolate. Let's try to delete. Let's try to delete. We say delete, and of course, what happens is that that entire sketch, I believe, is gone. Okay. So let me undo this and undo so that we end up in the same location, same place that we were, and we are. Okay. Now, let's do one more time. We change the sketch play, and we change the sketch support. All right, we select the X, Y. We already tried the uh, deactivate, isolate, and delete. Let's try edit. Okay, here it gives you the opportunity to, uh, to make some changes. For example, notice that if I delete, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that was causing a problem. If I delete this and exit, and then, uh, uh, yeah, we already deleted that. And uh, let me see, let me check the, uh, the edit again. Okay, that was gone. Okay, exit. All right. And uh, this one should work. So let me see, maybe uh, is there an update here, local update? 
No, so that edit, whatever I did, was not uh, good enough. So let me try one more time. Uh, let's go to the sketch. This one already deleted, so let's also delete this, see whether it uh, it helps or not. So exit. Yeah, so it got, uh, it didn't quite work the way I expected it. But uh, anyway, you got the idea. So uh, I'm not going to dwell on this thing anymore because you can, you can, Play with it to see how far you can take. Now remember, we, we learned about the activate, we learned about uh, uh, isolate and uh, delete. It's just that the edit that uh, is not quite working the way I thought it was going to work. All right, so uh, let's stop this thing.